on this. I'm afraid Brad won't give me anything in return, which will make me look completely dorky. Because even though I know he's my boyfriend, I'm not so sure he does. Well, Beth, once Brad accepts your present, it's a done deal. He's officially yours. And if he doesn't? Trust me, he will. And that'll make him your boyfriend, whether he likes it or not. Well, I guess it's better to have a boyfriend that doesn't know he's your boyfriend than no boyfriend at all. <sighs> Sorry, Holly. It's okay. Listening to you two makes me glad I don't have one. Oh, my God. It's Philip. He's right over there. He's probably just buying me a Christmas present. I hope he gets me something cool. I mean, nothing can happen. Come on. Come on. Tell me what you want to Let's follow him. Come on. Come on. Need some help? I want to see Santa, but but you're a little nervous, right? Don't blame you. I just can't seem to get her up there. Bye bye. Maybe I can help. What's your name? Darcy. Well, Darcy, maybe I could come along if that's okay. Sure, I'll just wait here. Hello. Hi. I was wondering when you were going to come to see me. Come on up here. Go on. And tell me what I can bring you for Christmas. <laughs> Is that your brother? Well, why don't you just run on back to him? I can pretty well guarantee you'll get what you asked for. Thank you, Santa. Sure. Thank you so much. So, what did she ask for? Oh, I can't tell you. That Santa client privilege. And what about you? What would you like for Christmas? I'm good. I wish the whole world could say that. Thanks. Surely there must be something that uh, I can get you. I'm too old for toys. It's okay. You don't have to be a child to believe. I'd like... I'd like a boyfriend for Christmas. Are you sure you're ready for a boyfriend? I don't know. I, I think so. Well, when you're really ready, Harvey, you'll know. And I promise you that I will send you just the right one. Gotta go. I'm going to leave you something very special under the tree. Okay. Merry Christmas, my dear. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. A promised gift will come, my dear. A love that's true and steady. Between now and the end of the 20th year, when two hearts are ready. Santa's sleigh, are we, Miss Grant? 
Yes, Your Honor. I, I mean, no. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, Your Honor. You know that the court is closing at noon today for the holidays. I do. And you're here on behalf of whom? I'm representing the interests of Thomas and Rebecca Denning. And you support the mother, Sheila Denning's, petition to have her children removed from foster care and returned to her custody? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Denning has moved out of the shelter, is now employed, and has secured adequate housing requested by the court. Well, who is your legal counsel, Ms. Denning? Ryan Hughes, Your Honor. He was assigned to help me. Where is Mr. Hughes? We don't know. He was supposed to be here. Well, I'm afraid without your lawyer present, I cannot make a ruling. Your Honor, Ms. Denning was hoping to have the children home for Christmas. <sighs> All right. I suppose we can give Mr. Hughes a few more minutes. This is the season of giving, after all. I mean, really. I've offered these people all I can. It's not just about the money. Not to the tenants, it's not. Mr. Rhodes here cannot tear down the buildings until the tenants are out. Now, cut to the chase, Hughes. How can we move them? With a different kind of incentive? Such as? It's a low-income families. In fact, I'm dealing with one of them right now in a pro bono case, a woman named Sheila Denning. She lives in your building. Bottom she... line, Ryan. What we have to do is assure these people that they're going to be able to move back in after reconstruction. And when they do, there'll be a park for the elderly, daycare center, uh, maybe a community center. Sell the idea like an investment in their future. Exactly. Because in essence, what you're doing is you're offering them a chance for a better life. We could read all the plans, I suppose, but it'll still be profitable. In the long run, Mr. Rhodes, increased cost would be negligible against potential profits, believe me. Parker, you've been dealing with the tenants' committee. You think they'll buy Hugh's idea? Well, sir. Yes, I, I think they will. The tenants cooperate? You boys make it your name on the letterhead sooner than you think. Oh, my God. I mean, he should be ashamed of himself. You're still his client. Just because Mr. Hughes isn't getting paid doesn't mean that he can blow you off. I mean, there's something called integrity. Miss Denning. Yes, Your Honor? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't wait any longer. I'm going to have to postpone the hearing. Your Honor, please. We'll address the petition in the new year. Hold the elevator. 